<laughs> Hi everybody, it's your girl Shantadra and I am back with another video. This one is going to be a DIY project. I am going to show you how to make a custom clock. Yes, Auntie Maxine told us to reclaim our time. So I am reclaiming my time and I'm showing you how to reclaim yours. Check this out. So because I'm cheap and I like to save my coins, I'm actually going to use an old canvas I had on hand from a DIY fail. If you're a true DIYer, you have one or two of these laying around your house. Once my paint was completely dry, I took a ruler and a straight edge from a leftover box to make lines just so I could have an idea of where I wanted to place my stickers on my board. I then began to place my stickers from right to left just to make sure I would have enough spacing. If you're not that great at spelling from left to right, it might be a good idea to write it down because spelling backwards is a little bit harder. <laughs> And this is what it looks like once all of my stickers were in place. From there, I just took some black paint and a sponge and began to cover up the letters on my canvas. And don't forget to go along the sides. It helps to make your design seem continuous. After letting the paint dry for about 30 minutes, I began to remove the stickers. Make sure you go slowly and gently as you do not want to ruin your paint. There I took a stencil with some gold paint and lightly dabbed it until I reached the desired coverage. As you move on to other letters, make sure you do not smudge the letters you have already done or put the wet stencil back onto your, onto your canvas. Once your stenciling is complete, it will look a little like this. I then took my handy dandy X-Acto knife and cut a small hole at the center point of my canvas. Because this is a larger canvas, it has a center beam. So when you flip it over, take your drill and place a small hole at the centermost point. I then took my DIY clock kit that I found at Michael's for about $6 and snapped it into the back. Once you flip it over, you just screw in the hands and you're basically done. And this is the finished product. I later went back in and painted the hands gold as the black hands just didn't pop against the black background. If you have any questions about this DIY, feel free to comment below. And remember, I need you to like, subscribe, follow, do all that good stuff. And hey, tell your mama and them, your cousin them, and all of them to do the same thing. <laughs> Thank you for checking me out. Bye-bye.